Hey, Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. And this vlog here is a serious and and sad one. Uh, about a week ago, I, we heard on the news that a state trooper had been killed in the line of duty. And when things like that happen, you know, the community pulls together and you don't hear that too often. But there's been, in the past, uh, several troopers that have been, now these are state troopers, the troopers, because of manpower within our area, and because of the distances um, the community is, you know, when you think about New York, you think about, you're thinking about New York City. Um, we or I don't live near New York City. That's over two, two hours from here, almost, you know, three, four hundred miles. Most of New York is farmland. You wouldn't think about that because, you know, when you talk about New York, you're thinking about uh, New York City. And even, even myself, being from Massachusetts and uh, growing up in Georgia, you think of farmland out there as well. But when you think about, when you talk about New York, you think about New York State. Well, most of New York State is... Uh, farmland, cows, uh, and farmland. So the troopers fill in for the town, uh, town police, and as well as the sheriff's department. Well, um, back to this. Uh, thought about it. I prayed about the individual who was in the, the trooper that was killed and it was domestic. You get in domestics out here, it's dangerous. And I know about 10 years ago there was another trooper that was killed in a domestic. So, uh, in my background being military police and security, you gotta be on your toes. Um, this particular trooper, he had been on the force for three years. Um, he was a local um, individual growing up. He went down. St he went down state for a while, and then uh, he got transferred up here, where his where his family is. And he's only been um, at this department up here, or barracks, should we say, for a year. Um, his name was Nicholas F. Clark, and it just so happened that one of the boys that I work with came up to me and he says, Dana, would you buy a, would you like to buy a, a window sticker for your vehicle? And I, and I, you know, I kind of questioned him for a minute. I said, well, what's it for? He says, for my cousin. And I said, well, what about your cousin? He says, did you hear about the trooper that was killed? And I said, yeah. And he says, that was my cousin. So that hit me <laughs> a couple days later after that, after I heard that that trooper had been killed. So I said to him, well... I'll do better. I'll do a vlog and get it out to my friends and, uh, you know, uh, mention that uh, we have these for sale and that the proceeds will be going to um, one of the uh, couple of charities that are going to be in his name. 
again, his name was Nicholas F. Clark. Um, he was born September 18th, 88. Means he was only 29 years old. And um, the um, just a uh, just an abbreviated um, state trooper. He was 29, and of course he passed passed away in the line of duty. Um, he leaves behind his mother and father. Wasn't married, um, and um, he was a lifelong resident of Canisteo Valley, and was a graduate graduate of Canisteo slash Greenwood High School class of 2006. Um, Wellsville, uh, Canisteo is about 50 about 50 miles from from here. Um, he was a gifted and stellar athlete, lettering in both football and wrestling. He was a state wrestling champ his senior year. He furthered his wrestling career by wrestling freestyle and Greco-Roman. And um, he wrestled at uh, wrestled in a wrestling club in Rochester for two years. After graduating, he enrolled at the University of North Carolina in Greensboro. That's something. My, my brother went to work at Greensboro, um, where he studied marketing on, the wrestling on a wrestling scholarship. In 2008, he transferred to Alfred University where he received a bachelor's degree in environmental studies in December of 2011. Uh, my uh, stepdaughter went to Alfred. She may even know him. Uh, while at Alfred, he was a four-year starter and an exceptional uh, outside linebacker for the Alfred Saxton football team where he set school records in tackles. He was named Empire 8 Conference All-Star from 2008 to 2011, 2010-2011 Conference Defensive Player of the Year and was further named American Football Coaches Association's First Team All-American. So he was he was good. He was um, to a point that, uh, from what I understand, he tried out for the Buffalo Bills. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. So at that point, he decided to go back um, and become a New York State trooper. Uh, he graduated from New York State Academy in 2015. He was stationed in Ithaca, Auburn, and eventually settled uh, back up here in Steuben at our uh, bath station, which is 20 miles, which is 20 miles south. Um, he was also a vivid out outdoorsman, uh, loved golfing, hunting, fishing, and spending time with his family and friends. He is survived by his mother, Teresa Rick, gone of Troopsburg, his father, Anthony uh, Sandy Clark of Bath, a brother, Nathan, Nathan Clark, and yeah, and paternal grandparents. Um, but, uh, That's the thing, he's, he's not going to leave a legacy because he's not married and won't have children. But, um, and, that's, and that's where you can help um, 
in his legacy is by donating to charities that are in his name. God bless you. Um, by furthering Nicholas's legacy. Um, I know they've, they've started a charity um, at, at Alfred to, outstand, to an outstanding student to uh, help further. So with that, with that said, that's one of them. Um, there's also one for the family and uh, I know there's a there's a couple other ones but uh, so I'm going to put those on my links and also to further the charities and to the families um, they've made these uh, vehicle window stickers and they're for five dollars, um, we'll send you one of these, and uh, you can go on the back of your your window, as you can see the the picture, the actual picture of it, right here, and then um, and this is this is another way to uh, defer, defer, to further the charity and to. I think some of this is going to the uh, college for his uh, college charity. I know they want to replace the jersey that he wore while he was playing football because um, they put that, of course, in the in the stadium as a you know remembrance, like they do most uh, most players if they pass away and they're. They're playing ball. They replace the jersey with a new number. So, uh, if you'd like one, let me know, and uh, I'll get you one. Uh, this is to help. This video is to help further his legacy. And uh, it's sad when we lose a trooper. Uh, it's just, mm. uh, you know, he's a civil servant. And uh, in this case, only 29. You know, he had a long life ahead of him. Uh, shining star coming up, and uh, there's no telling what more, um, what more, what more he could have done for the community. So, sad situation, and uh, I'll let it go with that. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and definitely check out the different charities in his name. And thanks again for watching. God bless. He was a trooper. Died in London. Rip Nicholas. Rip.